Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am here to talk to you about my December favorites. So let's get started. By the way, Happy New Year. This is the first video that I am actually filming in 2016. My video last week was a pre-recorded one. I got a little sick this week, so I was able to put that one up and uh, put off the December favorites a little bit. So I hope that your year is off to a great start. Now into the favorites. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is a NARS lipstick. And this is one that is not new to my collection. This is actually my very first NARS lipstick. This is one of their regular lipsticks, not one of the audacious ones, which are amazing. This is just one of their regular lipsticks. It's a matte lipstick, so it comes in a tube like this. And I just love the color of this. It's a really pretty dusty pink color, almost a little bit mauvey. And it's definitely a drier lipstick, so if you don't like that matte kind of texture on your lips, um, you may not love this, but I like that. And I just think it's such a pretty color. That's what I love about it. And it just, it goes with so many different looks. And I just rediscovered it. I forgot about how pretty this one is. It's right there. And it's just, again, it's just a perfect everyday kind of pink color. It's not too pink and it's just a little bit dusty. And I just love this and I'm really glad that I rediscovered it. I wore it a lot the month of December. The next lipstick that I have is a Kat Von D lipstick. And this is one of her studded kiss lipsticks. I mean, the packaging, all of her packaging is just so cute. And this is such a cool color. This is called Gothica. And I saw this on Coffee Break with Danny's channel. And so I had to go swatch it in the store. And when I swatched it, I was kind of unsure about this because it really is a sparkly bronze color. So it's not something that you would expect to find that would look good on your lips, but with the right look, this is so cool. It's so different. It's really sparkly, you can see that there. This looked so cool in the fall and it'll look even really cool in the summer. It's such a unique color, I have nothing like it. And you can even pair this with sort of a brown lip liner or a nude lip liner or something underneath to give it a little bit more depth. And it's just such a unique shade. I absolutely loved wearing this. So another Kat Von D product, I told you I've just been loving Kat Von D lately, um, but it's one of her Metal Crush eyeshadows. And if you remember in my November favorites, I talked about the color Dose that I loved and I couldn't help myself but get another color. Honestly, if I had no self-restraint, I would have bought the entire collection because they're all amazing. So um, I got one more, at least for now. <laughs> Um, this is the color black number one and it's sort of like a gunmetal color and again these eyeshadows are so silky smooth and this color is so cool it really is like a gunmetal color and you need so little of this the pigment in these is unreal and it's so so pretty you can use it sort of as like a smoky eye you know you can kind of sheer it out a little bit or you can really pack it on. And it's such a unique type of shade and I really have been loving wearing it. It's beautiful. But the next thing that I have is sort of a skincare thing. This is by Murad. This is the Rapid Collagen Infusion for Lips. Now, I have very textured lips. I know that's really a sexy thing to say, but basically I just have very defined lines in my lips. They're not wrinkly, but they just have always had that. So if I'm wearing a lipstick that is really creamy or is super matte even, it just sort of settles into some of those lines sometimes. And so I either can counteract that with a lip liner or just sort of, you know, blend it into my lips. But sometimes the, you know, depending on the texture of a lipstick, it really just doesn't look good on me. And so I heard about this product, again, from Copy Break with Danny. I just buy everything that she talks about, basically. But she also has really textured lips, and she talked about this. So this is basically like, you use it as like a lip primer. You can put it on a couple times a day, and you can put any type of lip product on top of it. But it basically is supposed to boost the collagen in your lips so that it smooths everything out a little bit and gets rid of some of that texture. And I've been using it for a while now, and it hasn't change my lips completely, but honestly, I really feel like it has made a difference and it has helped a lot. So I've been really enjoying using this and hopefully over time, it'll even work more and more. 
So the next thing that I have is another lip type of product. This one is more of a lip plumping. Um, I don't have too much trouble with the size of my lips. It doesn't bother me that much, but you know, we all want to get them looking a little bit more plump. That's sort of the trend these days. And I'm not so good at overlining. It just doesn't always look good. Um, anyway, a friend of mine gave me a set for, of Bliss products for Hanukkah, and one of them was this Fabulips Instant Lip Plumper. A lot of times lip plumpers really sting your lips. They're sort of like, you know, it's like bee stings all over your lips. That's what it feels like. So I've just sort of stayed away from them. This one doesn't do that at all, and it doesn't make a huge difference, but I do feel like it makes a little bit of a difference. And I don't always use it because it is that extra step and I've been using that Murad product, but when I do, I feel like it kind of makes a difference. So I put this on and I let it sit for a while and then I kind of blot it away. And I feel like it just makes them a little bit more plump. So I've been liking this a lot. The next thing is something that I received in my Influencer box. And if you didn't see that video where I talked about these products that I received, then I will link that down below. But one of the things that I received is this face cream from Boots Botanics. And this is a hydrating day cream. And so this is something that I was unsure if I was gonna like it because it says that it's really hydrating and I mean, of course I like my skin to feel hydrated, but I do get kind of oily. So if this is a day cream, I was a little concerned about it being too hydrating. The only thing I don't like about this is because it's a day cream, I feel like it should have SPF in it because I prefer to use that during the day. But this works well for days when I am not gonna be going out and I just wanna put a moisturizer on my face or if I'm going out at night and I haven't put on makeup yet. So this is a good thing to put on because it's it's not a night cream, it's still a day cream. But what I love about this is it is very thick and hydrating for sure, but it sinks into the skin so quickly. I put it on and really within 30 seconds, maybe even less, my skin doesn't feel sticky anymore. So it is great and it works really, really quickly. So I love being able to put this on and then pretty quickly go in with my makeup. A lot of times with moisturizers, you put them on and you really have to wait a while for it to sink into the skin, you know, and you still feel kind of greasy. So I've been really enjoying wearing this. Again, I wish it had SPF, but other than that, I really, really like it. The next thing I have is a nail polish and it's another one from Color Club. Don't kill me. I just, their nail polish is amazing. So this one that I've been loving is called Harp On It. And this is a holographic nail polish. It's like a silver, but it's holographic and it is so, so gorgeous. I wore this on New Year's. It was like the perfect color to wear. I've been loving this one. It's so pretty. I Before New Year's, I was really more using it as an accent nail because it's just so intense and holographic, <laughs> but I wore it on all my nails for New Year's and I fell in love with it all over again. It's, it's so, so pretty. If you love holographic glittery type of nails, you gotta check this one out. Another nail product type of thing, not a nail polish, but a nail polish remover, is this Sephora Instant Nail Polish Remover for glitter. And nail patches, nail tattoos, pen, etc. So basically any type of nail art, nail glitter, whatever. So this is amazing. So they have another regular nail polish one. So this is specifically for glitter and anything like that. I'm telling you, if you wear glitter on your nails, you need to get this. If you worn glitter on your nails, then you know how much of a pain it is to take it off. It almost, not quite, but it almost makes it not worth it to wear glitter. And I love wearing glitter. I mean, all times of the year. And this makes it so much easier to take off. It's amazing. It has a little sponge in there that you can use that's like rough and you can kind of scrape your nails on it, but it works so well at taking off glitter. It makes it so much easier. So I'm telling you, if you like to wear glitter nail polish, you have to have this. It makes it so much easier. So the last two things that I have are jewelry. And the first one is this ring that I'm wearing right now. This is from Alex and Annie, you know, those kind of jingly bracelets with the charms. This is one of their rings. And I've been wanting this for such a long time and my mom found it for me and got it for me. So thank you, mom. But I, I really wanted this for a long time and it was this kind of weird thing with Nordstrom that they, they had it on their website and it kept kind of disappearing, going away when I meant to buy it. And then I finally bought it and they sent me a little charm. Like it looked like this, but it was just like a little charm. It was not this at all. <laughs> so I had to return it and of course it was unavailable and it was just weird. 
And so I sort of gave up on it and then my mom surprised me and got it for me. So I was very excited and I've been loving wearing it. It's super, super cute. So um, I think they do have it on their website, but maybe don't count on Nordstrom if that's where you were looking to get it. The other thing is another kind of cute story. Um, it's these earrings right here from Kate Spade. And the crazy thing about these earrings, this is again, another weird Nordstrom story. Um, I saw these on Nordstrom and these earrings, they go on sale every year around the holiday time and they always sell out because they're super popular and people sell them, um, according to the sales girl at Nordstrom, people sell them on eBay and for like ridiculous amounts of money because they can't get them. And because they're really not that expensive, I think they're, they're under $40. So I was going to get them for Hanukkah from my sister and... Um, she went to go and buy them and they were unavailable. <laughs> Story of my life. So I gave up on them. I said, forget about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, well. And I went to the Nordstrom holiday party with my family and I was looking, um, around and I saw the Kate Spade earrings sort of kiosk thing in the middle of Nordstrom and they have tons of those type of earrings in different colors so they had them all spread out and I was just looking just to see and there's one closed box on top of all of them and sure enough I open it and it's those the only pair and the sales girl even was like oh my god that's so crazy they've been sold out forever I can't believe you found those it was like a meant to be type of situation. I don't know, it was crazy, but I've been loving them and I'm so glad that I finally found them. I just can't believe how weird that was. So I have two unfavorites this month. The first one is another thing that came into my influencer package. So again, if you haven't seen that, check the link down below. But I got this two-step gel system type of thing from Sinful Colors. Um, it's sort of, I think, a similar idea to the Sally Hansen one where you put on two coats of the color and then you put it on a top coat. Um, and I like the Sally Hansen one. It doesn't act like a gel polish really, but it lasts pretty well, I would say. So I thought maybe this would be kind of similar. Now, the nail polish itself, I really liked. I liked the color, the, the formula of it was really nice, but I hated the top coat for a few reasons. So first of all, this is supposed to be like a gel type of system. This top coat is very watery. So I thought, oh, okay, that's kind of weird. But it's it stays that way. Like it goes on top and it's like it disappears. It's not, it doesn't make the polish look gel-like at all. It just is very watery and just sort of goes on. You know, it looked shiny because of the nail polish, but not because of the top coat at all. And then it took forever to dry. I just, that's the most annoying thing. I mean, I like to do my nails a lot, but I like them to dry quickly. And so I like to use a top coat that is really fast drying. And I didn't want to use anything else on top of this because I wanted to use this on its own. And I will say that the Sally Hansen top coat does dry really quickly, so I like that. This one does not. I waited a really, really long time for it to dry. And I was pretty sure that it was dry by this point, even though it had taken like half an hour. And I was out and smudged it. I mean, probably a couple hours later. So it really didn't even totally dry. So that that is definitely a pet peeve of mine. I really, that annoyed me a lot. So I did not like that. So I definitely am keeping the color. I like the nail polish a lot. So if you like any of the colors that are in this system, then go for it. But the top coat, not my fave. The other unfavorite I have is the Benefit Their Real push-up liner and this is the brown one originally they came out with a black one and it had very mixed reviews some people loved it some people absolutely hated it but when these colored ones came out people were saying that the formula was better and they liked these better and i liked the idea of having a a brown gel liner i don't have a brown gel liner and i liked the idea of the whole system of this so it's a gel liner but it comes out in this little tip here so the first few times that i used this i really liked it it worked very well, you know, you just push out a little bit of product and it goes on really smoothly. But then, like, it's starting to just get a little bit funky. Like, I didn't use it for a little while, I admit that, but it was still pretty new and, you know, I don't know, maybe I need to just sort of use up some of the product, but it just started to bunch up and pull a little bit and it wasn't going on as smoothly as it had when I originally got it so I don't like that I don't like that you know it kind of dries up a little bit and I have to kind of push out the product you know with 
with a normal seat, yeah, it's already starting to be a little bit better. So it's kind of annoying because you end up wasting a lot of product to get back down to where it's kind of smooth again. Like with a regular gel liner, if it starts to dry out, you can, you know, put some drops in it of like Makeup Forever Aqua Seal um, to bring it back to life a little bit. But with something like this, you can't really do that. So you end up wasting a lot of product. So it's a great idea, but it ends up not really working out that well in actual reality. All right, everyone, so that is it for my December favorites. I can't believe it's already 2016. I hope your year is off to a great start. I'm really excited about what this year is going to bring for me personally and for me with this channel, and I hope that you'll come along for the ride. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. That really does help my channel, and make sure to comment below and let me know what you loved in the month of December. I would love to hear your favorites. Please subscribe to my channel if you are not already. I would just love that. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.